Welcome to Sabi Book. Let's talk about pneumatic cylinders today. Pneumatic cylinders. Pneumatic cylinders are cylinders that are controlled by air. By the way, what are cylinders? These are pneumatic control components or even hydraulics, but that's for another time. We'll talk about hydraulics. But pneumatics control components that move in a linear motion. They do job in a linear motion. They kind of move from one point to another in a linear motion. And they do this because there's air passing through one part of the cylinder to the other. Now, pneumatic cylinder comprises of um, a cylindric enclosure this and a piston inside of it so if you have to view this from here you would see something like this and the piston rod so you have the cylinder itself the piston base and the rod so this is the rod and this is the piston base and this is the enclosure so a cross-sectional area would show you this so when we pass air through one part it flows out through the other part now the air we pass through this part push this cylinder or piston in this direction so that it can achieve a particular um, job or work say to push this block a we need to s pass air through this inlet and pushes this piston forward then it pushes this block towards this direction already there is air locked in here such that when this piston is moving it pushes that air out through this outlet that way the piston can move freely because if air is locked here there is no way the piston can move because there will be backward pressure against it so keeping it stationary but with the aid of this outlet pot then we have outflow of air and the piston moves and then work is done this is called a double acting cylinder A double acting cylinder double acting means it act in both direction there is airflow through this direction out here and the reverse could also be the case where air flows into this direction and out through this direction in that case the piston will move in a backward direction so this is a to and fro motion whenever we need a to and fro motion uh, a pneumatic cylinder does the job and it's pneumatic because we use air there's also a hydraulic cylinder that uses liquid now let's talk about valves why do we need valves pneumatic valves are we're going to be talking about directional valves there are lots of lots of pneumatic valves but for the sake of the question we'll be expecting in the next video we will talk about directional valves directional pneumatic valves are valves that direct the flow of air so that they can perform a function or they can go and actuate an actuator an example of an actuator is a cylinder now a simple directional valve would look like this Um, these two blocks represent the switching position like you have a switch at home that operates the light bulbs they have two switching position basically um, an on and off position so these blocks here represent uh, the switching positions for this valve and then we have ports the port tells the number of holes where 
air can pass through and out there is one and there is another here so there is another port here there is another port here and there is finally here there is a port and there is another port so we have five ports let's call this one two three four and five this port shows the directional flow for the air same applies here on the left side of the valve there's this there's this and there's this now this represents that the air the, these spots are blocked so no air passage while this direction arrow shows that air passes from 4 to 2 and in this case 5 to 3 same happens here where this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 4 this is 5 and this is 3 so with this we can see that there are a number of holes or ports where air actually flow in through. Why do we need these holes? This tells in which direction when air passes through and what kind of function it will do uh, it will perform on the cylinder. For instance, if we have air flowing through four to two, it means it is moving the cylinder in the inward direction that is the cylinder is retracting and if we have air flowing from 4 to 2 on the right side then it means that it is moving the cylinder on the left side rather it means that it's moving the cylinder in the right direction so from this point to that point we we'll explain this even further but with this we have a 5 two-way valve why five the number of ports represent five here so there are five ports and the two shows there are two switching positions and that explains the name of the valve five two-way valve there are other additional um, information that is needed to for naming this valve for instance the actuation uh, method actuation method is what actually switches the valve what causes the valve to switch from left to right and move backward um, in some cases we have manual control some cases we have um, uh, other mechanical control like roller control sensor control and all that but here we have we are going to use for the sake of the example in the next question we are going to use a pneumatically controlled pneumatically controlled um, actuation so that means what actually switches this valve from left to right is air itself not any form of um, physical contact but air so we get air from a particular source to move it from left to right it's more like pilot or remote control so that's for five two-way valves then we also have um, other valves that are controlled directly these are not um, they are directional valve but not um, actuated by air but actuated from a, a main source like mechanical or manual control um, there are also two switching position but in this case there are three ports three ports and we have say three two one and same applies here too we have three say two and let's call this one so we have two blocking position so which means the air the ports here are blocked and then we have air flowing from this point to this point 
there from this point to this point. The arrow shows the, the direction of air. Sorry. That would be from 3 to 2. Yes. So this is a 3 2 way valve. 3 2 way valve. 3 is the number of ports, 2 is the number of switching position, and that explains the name. But like this also, we also need to, as part of the name, to explain the uh, method of actuation. So in this case, we have mechanical actuation, like manual, or it could be roller actuated. For roller actuated, you have something like a ball, roller actuated, or it could also be any form of actuation. But let's deal with mechanical actuations like roller and manual actuation. Then, um, knowing this now, I think we'll have a basic understanding of how to answer the question in the next video. So here we have a three two-way valve mechanically actuated roller or manual. And here we have five two-way valve uh, pilot actuated or pneumatically actuated. And then we have a double acting cylinder uh, with um, inlets on both sides, um, inlet and outlet actually. Then and a brief description of how it works. In the next video, we would answer a question and with this basic understanding, we will be able to um, trash this question. See you and um, take care.